This video will demonstrate how to properly configure note templates so that your organization's service documentation requirements are met. This is handled through the Services section of the List Configuration tool in the Configure desktop. The system provides three standard note templates, a clinical note, a grid note, and a medical note. Additional note templates can be configured if there is a need to customize note forms to meet your agency's documentation practices. Let's first review the three default templates. A clinical note template is based off of the PIE note format, where three separate text fields capture the purpose of contact, the interventions provided during service delivery, and the effectiveness of those interventions. The purpose of contact section is designed to link to the goals that are set up in the treatment section of the client record. Note that the three text fields can easily be renamed if you would like to see a different title for each section. That is handled by going to the Custom Label screen in the Configure desktop. A grid note template is based off of a grid format. It is designed to list goals from the treatment section of the client record in rows so that intervention and assessment keys can be assigned to each goal in a grid format. The keys are customizable per service code and are configured in the List Configuration screen under the Services section. A medical note template is a very simple format. It is designed to sync the vital statistic information from the medical section of the client record. There is also the capability to sync the medications and or the DSM-5 information from the medical section of the client record. To link the medications and the diagnosis information, email a request to support at aimtech.net. The template provides a default long text box. Additional fields can be added to support your agency's version of a medical note by going to the custom field screen in the Configure desktop. You can learn more about those three templates through the respective video links attached within this article. The default templates can be renamed if your agency has a specific title for a note that users will identify with. A new note template can be added if a modification is needed to any of the three default templates in order to meet your requirements. With any note template, whether the defaults or a new one, you then have the flexibility to add custom fields or rename any of the default labels as already discussed. This expands the system's ability to support your agency-specific note forms. There is no limit to the number of templates that can be created. To create a new note template, give the template a description. This will be the common name for the note format, meaning this is how the note will be referenced throughout the system. Then select a note type as your baseline format, keeping in mind that each of these three options are customizable. Choose the format that will best line up with your needs as a starting point. The multi-day checkbox should be used when needing to capture multiple time events on a note, whether multiple dates of service, such as on a weekly or monthly note, or multiple start and end times within a single day. If this is not checked, then the system will only allow one time entry per date of service. The time entry is equivalent of the service date and the start time and end time of the service provided. Note that if you are using the system to bill for services that are documented against a multi-day note, the billing is supported so that each date of service on the note is billed individually or according to the service definition rules. You can learn more about multi-day or time notes by watching the respective video attached within this article. You can control which note templates are active and therefore eligible for notes to be written against. 
If the template is not active, it is not visible in the Notes desktop and a note cannot be written against that particular form. The Clone button can be used to copy one template to another. This is most useful when there are a lot of custom fields configured to that particular template and several of the fields need to be modified. It may be important to preserve the original template and create a new one to reflect the modifications. Lastly, templates can then be linked to services so that each service defaults to the specific note form you require. This link is managed under the State Services screen. This is recommended so that users are completing documentation against the right form at all times.